Good morning. Welcome to Coffee and Crafts. I'm Linda Cullen with Crafty Stampin' and welcome to our first Crafty and Crafts for May. Oh, how the months are flying by. So good morning and welcome everybody who is coming on. Let me show you the project that we are going to do today. We're going to play with the share what you love bundles. Um, this is a card. If you saw the Stampin' Scoop on Tuesday, you might have seen this. This was my share that I did for Tammy's swap. Um, so I was going to show you how I did this today. I actually, I'm going to use my Stamparatus. I have not used my Stamparatus on any Coffee and Crafts, uh, yet. So I'm going to pull it out for today. We'll see how I do. We'll see if I can, uh, keep from breaking my magnets. Um, so I see everyone's jumping on. Good morning. Um, so let's show you what my giveaways are for today. So I love to say thank you for everyone who takes the time to tune in. Um, today, during the live, if you leave a comment, you will be eligible to win the Affectionately Yours uh, Designer Washi Tape. Um, and all you have to do is leave a comment, say hi, you know, nothing elaborate, you'll be entered. If you do not win, or you are watching this at a later time, either on Facebook or on YouTube, uh, and you leave a comment, you can be entered to win the beautiful Peacock stamp set. And if you share the video on Facebook or on um, uh, YouTube or wherever, um, and type in a comment shared with a D, I will give you a second entry to win the beautiful Peacock. And I'm gonna pick the winner for beautiful Peacock next Thursday. So um, that is how that works. So good morning. Everyone's bouncing on. That's awesome. So let's go through. There's some amazingly exciting stuff going on. So the Share What You Love Suite um, is a early release of uh, bundles of products that will be available in the new catalog uh, coming out June 1st. You can purchase these bundles early. Tammy and I have gone all over it in our past um, episodes. So if um, I'm going to do a blog post with a recap of this episode, there'll be links to those episodes. You can get all the details of the Share What You Love suites. But if you purchase the um, Gut, let's see, the Gotta Have It bundle, Gotta Have It All bundle, or the A Little More bundle from me, I have a mega tutorial with 16 cards that you, I will send you uh, when you make those purchases. I also have a f separate four card bundle. So it's you're getting 20 uh, card tutorials for purchasing the uh, Share What You Love suite from me um, during the month of May. Um, so, and we're gonna play with that today so you can see what that looks like. Also, don't forget the clearance rack still has some really good items uh, that you can get a hold of and you can throw actually in your starter kit too, along with the Share What You Love and the Last Chance products, so the retirement list. So I don't know if you noticed, I posted a sold out uh, list on May 1st on my website. So if you wanna see what is sold out as of that point, DSP and some of the uh, retiring colors, not just the in colors, but like Always Artichoke, Rose Red, all of those are um, starting to retire or, or, and sell out. So you want to grab those sooner than later. So let's go pick our winner from last time. So from the 426 Coffee and Crafts, I had Flowering Fields and um, I have put everybody's name into random.org who left a comment. And if you see a lot of people have uh, their name in there twice, that's because they shared this video and it's my thank you to them uh, to add them a second time to win this stamp set. So I am going to hit randomize and whoever pops up to the top will be the winner of our stamp set. And our winner is Darcy Dutton. Darcy, head over to craftystampin.com and if you go to specials and then down to giveaway, when everything flips over, uh, right up top, there is a click to claim your prize. And if you fill out that form, I will get that out to you. You have two weeks. I will send an email. I don't send them out immediately. So I uh, could take me like a week, but you will get an email from me that says it is in the mail with a uh, tracking number. If you do not get that from me within the two weeks and you think you have submitted your claim, send me an email. But let's head back 
to this is what we're doing just a reminder if anyone's popped on afterwards this is a project we're going to be doing with the share what you love bundles so let's pop down here all right so the share what you love again it's an early release um like i said in on my web post i will have uh links to where tammy and i have gone over all of these details um but there are some really great stuff in this bundle that we're going to be playing with today also on my um blog post recap i will have a uh, downloadable pdf it will be in color my color printer has decided it's on strike so i'm printing with my black and white printer um but i will have a there's a pdf has a picture, has all the uh, cut sizes, um, all the products you need to complete the project, links back to the web post, um, direct links to my store where all these products are available for sale. Let's get stamping. All right, so I see we got a bunch. Oh, welcome. All righty, so like I said, we are. I'm using my Stamparatus. First time, we'll see if I, how I do. All right, so. Let's start. Oh, I didn't even score my paper, so hold on. Grab my, my scoreboard. Start with this. You gotta have all the tools. All right, so we're gonna start by scoring the uh, card base in half. So it's four and a quarter. How is everybody today? I'm in New England and summer hit us yesterday. We've had all winter, no spring, and it was 90 degrees yesterday. And I think it's supposed to get similar today. So, I know various other parts of the country, you guys have had various weather as well. All right, so I'm gonna start. So, I have my basic black card base. And then my next layer is the DSP with uh, Rich Razzleberry. But before I attach it, because all you're going to see when I do this is the tiniest sliver of Rich Razzleberry, I want to use the center of this. So I'm going to dig out my big shot. Actually, let me slide my Stamparatus out of the way. Move that way you can see it. All right. So I am going to start with... This is the largest oval from the oval dies. Um, this is, I call it number one. I number all my uh, nesting dies so I can easily tell which one's which and which is the next size. Um, so I'm just gonna cut that right out of the middle. Okay, so I see everyone's got a mix of weather. Oh, I love it. Dropping my dies. There we go. All right, so cut that out of the middle. So I'm going to save that, and this is going to be a frame for later. So put those aside. Um, what do I want? Let's see. I'm going to cut this out. So this is um, watercolor paper. I was using watercolor paper for this, not because I'm watercoloring. Um, I like the color. It's less vanilla than very vanilla and less white it's like in the middle of vanilla and white um so i am this is the largest stitch shape oval so and i always mix and match my stitch shapes with the layering um dies so i'm just going to cut this out in advance there we go and I didn't bother to cut. This is the size that uh, the watercolor paper comes in. Uh, I think it's, oh uh, goodness, five by six. They've changed it over the times. I don't even know where my ruler is. Um, six by nine. So this is six by nine. And this is what's coming. So instead of cutting it to um, do the die, I just, it's it was sized purposely to go through the big shot. So. Now I'm just going to put this back in my uh, folder and I can get little uh, pieces out of it. So it's kind of a way to save on paper too. All right, so here's what I'm going to stamp on. Oops. And let's, let's, we'll keep, keep up with our die cutting while we're at it. All right, so I have now a Whisper White and an Old Olive. And I'm getting more ovals. So 
like I said, I number my um, dies. So my smooth ones are one to whatever, one being the largest. So we're using dies five and six. Five is larger, it's gonna go on my old olive, and then six is going on my whisper white. Uh, the scallops oh, uh, dies, I do letters. So A being the largest, and I do A, B, C to wherever I get. Just makes it easier to tell when I'm digging through looking for the next size, bigger or smaller. It's a lot easier to figure out that way. Alrighty, so let's put these away so I don't lose my dies. Here are all my die cuts. Alright. Alrighty, so let's start. Uh, oops. Alright, so here's my stamparatus. There we go. Alright. So I'm going to this down actually what I want to do I'm gonna take I'm gonna die cut again here's a just scrap piece of paper I'm gonna die cut my oval out of it so I can hold it down uh, let's move this again back and forth back and forth all right so oops. this is the stitch shape so I'm gonna try and do it right in the middle right centered my other Thing. There we go. There we go. Good morning, everybody. I see everyone's popping on. All right. Try this again. All right. So I'm going to save that to use later. This is just a scrap piece of Whisper White. Now we'll dig out the stamparatus. All right. So I'm going to slide this here. Just put my magnet. So I have. This is duct tape. I went and got some fancy duct tape and I attached it to my magnets. Gives me a handle to grab a hold of them. Um, makes it a little easier to keep them apart as well because um, they are fragile. You want to be careful with them. So I highly recommend. Washi tape sometimes can be a little too um, weak to hold on to them because these are very, very strong magnets. So I found uh, some pretty duct tape. You get some plain duct tape and then put pretty washi tape over it too. That is, that's an option. All right, so I am going to put my die cut in this circle. All right, so the circle's kind of holding the die cut and the magnets are holding my paper. So I'm using the Share What You Do stamp set. i pull my flower out and I'm going to place my flower on my paper. So that's the nice thing about the Stamparatus is that I can figure out where I want my um, image before I ever stamp. So now I close the panel, the Stamparatus, and I have two panels. I'm using the side one for this flower. And I pick it up, and that's fine. It sticks. Oops. We will put this back where we found it. Alrighty. Now I'm going to... Heat emboss this in gold. So the first thing I'm going to do, which I almost forgot because I always forget, is my embossing buddy. Put him down. I'm going to open my gold embossing powder. And I always have people ask me about this where I, I store my embossing powders. I have, if you go up to uh, my blog at Crafty Stampin', specials, and then down to downloads and resources, I have a link for these items because um, I always get asked. So I finally put up a resource for you guys. Um, all right. So that's in place. So I'm going to now ink up my flower with the Versamark while it's on the Stamparatus. All right. Okay. Push it down. Okay, and I'm going to quickly pick it up and we're going to add my embossing powder. So there is that. So let me put that aside for a second. Hope I don't bump it. Done that before. I have to do it all over again because I knock it off before I heat it. All right, so let's, I'm going to put this aside for a sec. We're coming back to that, but I want to heat before I forget. I'm going to warm up my heat gun below the desk 
so you don't have to listen to that. Use paper. Oh, use painters. Someone says they use painters tape. Do you use painters tape to hold the um, paper down for the stamparatus. I use. I have painters tape. I use it for a bunch of stuff. I find it's very helpful for many, a, many a thing. All right. So keep this actually so I don't burn my finger we'll hold it with the bone folder Vicki you must pull out your stamparatus and start playing the things you can do with it are so much fun So there is my flower. All right. So now, okay. So I'm going to put this back here for one second. Actually, I, no, I don't want to worry about it. All right. So the next thing I want to do, this is um, where I'm going to use my greeting. And what I want to do is I want to stamp my flower like that. But I want this, all right, let me see. I got an idea. I do this differently when I made 12 of them, so I'm trying to figure out how to do this with just making one without making the 10 templates that I made. Whoop. Hold on. All right, scrap paper. So this is where I want this. I'm going to slide this under here. There we go. So I placed it where I wanted it under the, um, what I could also do is stamp, take this out. I'm going to do that. I'm thinking on the fly. All right, so here's what I'm going to do. Take this out. Set it aside so I don't risk it. This is just a piece of printer paper I just cut. This is a better way to do it. I'm going to use my Rich Razzleberry and I'm going to ink up my flower again. I'm going to stamp it on my scrap paper so I know where it is. There we go. Now I'm going to line this up again. There we go. Now I don't care. All right. So I'm going to line that up. All right. And now I'm going to ink this up again. And I want to really make sure that one flower is well inked. All right. Put a magnet on the end. Cross our fingers. Down we go. Slowly lift up. There we go. Right where we want it. Now, I'm gonna close, not going to move anything. I'm going to get my stamp set out again. And I'm going to get the greeting love what you do and now I'm gonna move this over here all right so I want this greeting to be right around here okay so I'm gonna close this I don't know if my magnets in the way nope there we go all right so now I know where that greeting is gonna go and now I'm going to use my old olive and I'm going to ink it up on this plate. I'm going to come down. It goes back up. Oh, my dew is in the wrong place. Oh well. I'm going to ink it again. And what the great thing about the stamparatus is, I'm just going to go over it again. I found um, with the old olive, it just looks so much better when it got stamped twice. It just made it that much darker and comp competed, but looked as good as the Rich Razzleberry, which seemed to be dark right off the, the bat. So here is, I gotta let it dry. So now it's really wet. So you can see how that looks. So I'm gonna set that aside to dry while I put this over here and we start assembling our card. All right. So first thing now I'm going to do is I'm going to attach my DSP 
to my rich raspberry that I already cut out and I'm just going to put the snail around the edges as I've cut out the middle. All right. So what if I do that? There you go. A little better. All right. So we're going to attach this here. All right. So there's one base. Okay. And do I just, yeah. So now we're going to attach this to the card base. All right. And stick that in the center. All right. So, oops, I forgot to grab my ribbon. So this is the one quarter inch velvet ribbon and rich raspberry that's in the bundles, the share what you love bundles. And I've got some extra paper and I'm just going to cut this like four or five inches. That's all I need. All right. So where to put my snail? Here we go. So I want to attach this strip of rich raspberry as just a little bit under this uh, green leaf DSP. Oops. There we go. All right. And I can trim that. There we go. So I'm going to add some snail to the back of the ribbon. So I can attach it. I'm going to attach it to the center of this DSP. Actually, I'm going to clean up the edge first. There we go. That looks better. Okay, and so I'm not going to take it all the way to the end, but just put it down in the middle. All right, so now I'm going to attach this to the card base, the snail. There we go. Let's see, eyeball, that looks like the middle. All right, so here we go. All right, so now the fun part. Good morning, everybody. So what I want to do is I'm going to attach this on top of here. So I'm going to take some dimensionals. I'm going to put this here. I'm actually, I'm going to put two, even though the second one won't uh, touch anything yet. All right. So now I'm going to line this up, get a dimensional so that the flowers line up. There we go. And I want to make sure it's uh, perpendicular. Turn that a smidge. All right. So there is that. Now I'm going to remove the backing to this dimensional. I'm going to add a little snail here. And nope, I'm going to do this one first. Hold on. I got to make remember what order I did these in. So now I'm going to add the rich raspberry backing to the large oval. All right. Now I'm going to come back and I'm going to add a little right here. I'm going to line up this oval with the greeting. Does that look? Oops. Push down. And there is this. And now I'm going to attach this uh, greeting panel right here with snail. And make sure you can see it. And I'm purposely going to kind of hang off the edge of the DSP. All right. So that is the card and how I did it for the um, swap. So I think we need to add a little more. So let me find. Hold on. Oh, what did I do with them? I'm going to add the Artisan Pearls. I haven't had a chance to make a cover. I started putting all my new stuff away. And now I can't find it. <laughs> it was all over my desk. All right. So I'm going to add a few of these. Let's, I got to do the, the dark ones. I like those best. So we'll add a few of these because it's never done. I don't know about you until I add a few, a little bling. It's got to have some bling. All right. I'm going to put these all on. I'm afraid if I put them here, you won't see them. They're, that paper is just too pretty and too, um, busy to uh, see 
where those would land. So there is my card for today with a little little extra um, from what I did for my, my swap. Um, I just didn't have enough pearls to put pearls on each swap item. So all this uh, Share What You Love bundles are available in my online store and you can, we'll get the free, uh, lots of free stuff. The uh, tutorials, you'll actually get, I'll send you a free catalog because um, I, uh, I will do that for you. So let's do our giveaway now that we're done. So I'm going to give you guys a few seconds. You get to look at me for a second while I log on to do um, the giveaway because it always logs me off while we're on here. Um, so the giveaways, let me show you, remind you what we're giving. Our. So right now we are giving away the absolute, affectionately yours designer series Wasi tape. Um, and then if you don't win, you'll be entered in to win the beautiful peacock. So here we go. Alrighty, so now I can flip you back over here. All right, so let's pick a winner. So we're going to, whoever's name pops up here will be our winner of the washi tape. And our winner is Carrie, oh, I'm going to mess this name up, Irie Posset, Possetti. I apologize if I am way off. So, Kari, head over to craftystampin.com. There we go. And if you go to specials and giveaways, there is a click, ooh, a link. Click here to claim your prize, to fill out the form, and I will get that mailed out to you. So thank you everybody for joining me today. I will be back next Tuesday with another uh, Coffee and Crafts. I think I'm going to try and pop on tomorrow and do a unboxing. So I should have my um, pre-order, all new stuff that I'm getting, um, sometime tomorrow, whenever UPS shows up. So it might be early afternoon uh, so that we can do that. So hopefully um, you guys will join me as I open my box because that is always fun. So that should be tomorrow. I will put a... Um, I uh, will schedule it once I know when UPS is showing up. They usually show up around hmm, 1 o'clock. So other than that, have a great day, and I will see everybody tomorrow and then on Tuesday. Bye.